a blessed Sunday to us. Let me share with you, if ever I have, you haven't, you, you can't remember anymore, but I always do this. There is always a very light, you know, light flavor in the last verse of today's gospel reading with the fact that if ever that happens, that one is being thrown into the darkness outside where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth, be sure that you have teeth. Lisod kayo mag-grind ka sa imong teeth o niya wala kay teeth. If that is the, a symbol of hell, that would be more hell than it can be. Anyway, that's not the point of the sharing. What I would like to to actually to, to focus on is this very beautiful word that we hear from the gospel, but in our ordinary understanding, practically means the same, but it's basically connected. As I also use a very, a very uh, funny expression to my students, that the, what, what is the difference? The answer is the difference is the same. You know? So I'm talking about the word talent. Okay, some of us, when we, when we hear the word or when we meet the word talent, we always understand or picture in our minds or understand it really naturally that one knows how to sing, one knows how to dance, o mulatay bag alambre, o mukaon bag bildo, or whatever. That's talent. But it's not the talent that we are talking here about in the Gospel reading. Because talent in the very language itself, in the gospel usage, refers to a huge amount of money. So, quarta di ay na. And so, it is connected, therefore, to the fact that when one has talent, there is always money. Kung talintado ka, then you can do many things, di ba? But here we're talking about the amount of money that is entrusted with great responsibility. And the responsibility that it entails has something to do with our ability to respond, our ability to use, our ability to practically uh, make the, the one entrusted to us uh, fruitful. So we are here talking, therefore, about gifts. gracias a Dios gihatag ka in many different forms. Alay Kapwa emphasizes on the three things of time, talent, and treasure. But our perspective from the point of view of Christian charity goes beyond the three. There are so many things that we can do in order to help practically those in need and also to expand the graciousness and the kindness of the Lord. And by the way, it just fits very well in today's celebration that the main theme of the celebration of the church is the World Day of the Poor. And so it is actually the poor that actually becomes the litmus test of how these talents, talents that we receive, the gifts from the Lord, will become fruitful in their particular way. But then, the giving of the talents is not practically all about how much is given. Okay? Or it may somehow be connected with how much is given back. But in our context, in our understanding, we are here talking about the quality or the qualification, the, the terminology of quality between quantity. Now, what is best? What is, how is best defined when we talk about using fruitfully and usefully the gifts of God? Is, does it something to do with qual, quantity? Gidaghanon ba? Or quality, ang kalidad, ang matang sa ato ang paghatag o pagdawat o pagpaambit. Because normally in our times today, it is quantity that actually takes precedence in the things that we are doing and observing, di ba? Ay, kadagha, no? Daghan ka sa tanan, dili pa ihat. That's quantity. Pero, not all quantity modified experiences or matters are qualitatively acceptable or plausible. No? Lain man ang maghisgutag, daghan kaayo, kantidad, pero walay kalidad. 
No? And this is actually the very challenge of today's gospel reading. In view of the end times, we are in the end times in terms of reflecting the readings because we are on the 33rd Sunday in ordinary time. We are about to close the liturgical calendar and all the readings direct us towards the final end from which and from here and now we are preparing ourselves. So this is a very challenge that the Lord is giving to us. It is not a matter of quantity, but it is a matter of quality. And quality is the best definition and qualification of what best is for us. So bisa do tayra basta maayo ug kalidad, that's actually the best. Kay unsaon man ang daghan unya walay walay kalidad, di ba? Sayang ra gihapon, di ba? Daghan ra nga ilabay, daghan ra nga adto sa sa basurahan. Bisan ganid usa ra ka buok basta di kalidad, sus kanindot, you can we can treasure it for the rest of our lives. And so this is the thing that we are trying to do. And finally, this is another reminder of our attitude towards mediocrity. No? So just like the parable of the of the seed that, that, that actually fell on good ground. Remember the, that parable? One bore a hundred fruit. The other 100 grains, the other 70, the other 50, the other 30. So that is reaching the fullness of what is actually expected of us. Because the argument is, if you are only capable of 70 or you are given 5, entrusted to you 5, and then you give back 7 for 5 and 95 for 70, pagutan o na dayon ta, asa mana ng subragikan. And this is where corruption comes in. No? Because 70, 70, good. No? And sometimes we get the idea of perfection. Perfection is not just 100. Because if you are given 70, your capacity is 70, and you give back 70, that's already perfect. Pero sa iskulilahan, kinahang lang butangan pa ng 75 para makapasar, di ba? Dungagan pala, in man ang kategori. So, kung unsay kihatag nga, nga abilidad sa aginoo na to, we still can practically develop so that we can reach the fullness of it. And with that fullness, we become bearers and distributors of God's manifold and countless blessings to our brothers and sisters. Amen.